Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and it's Sunday so I think it's time for a chat and channel update. We haven't done one a couple of weeks. Last week I did a little bit of one but it was really to introduce you to that new website I was talking about. So let's just sit down and chat for a few minutes. Um, really just been busy, so busy doing um, Valentine's Day. You know, last week we really focused on Valentine's things and I hope you enjoyed everything that we presented. Those strawberries, if you haven't gotten a chance to try those, those strawberries are out of this world incredible. And I kind of took a little bit of creative license with the heart-shaped biscuits and the bacon cheese biscuit sandwiches. But, you know, Every, you know, Valentine's Day is a little bit different for everyone. Um, we don't really go much in for it. In fact, you know, Rick did that jar that he demoed uh, with the glass etching on his video, and he filled it up with a whole lot of different handwritten notes that were really beautiful, and I really enjoyed that. That was pretty much the extent of my Valentine's Day, and that is just how I like it. Um... I just don't think there is any need to make a big deal out of things like that. It's, you know, to me, it's like a greeting card holiday. It's a made up thing. Um, just, it is what it is. So it's nice to observe it and tell the people that you love that you love them. But you need to be doing that every day, not just on Valentine's Day. Um, so last week, since we had been uploading all the Valentine's stuff, I've been also doing a lot of different dinners that you're going to come uh, that will be coming your way this week. You'll see those very soon. I actually made a taco pizza that's coming. I actually wrote about pizza in my last um, newsletter, and they've been coming out about every other week, and I promise I'm going to do a better job of getting them out weekly. I have so many ideas and things I want to write about, and then... Um, I'm all my, you know, the newsletter, it, it goes out to everyone and then it gets posted on Facebook. And then, uh, I kind of recycle those articles over on my blog and I add pictures and things like that to them. Um, so it's not exactly the same thing, but I am kind of using that information again so I can get a little more mileage out of it. It's not that I'm being lazy. I'm just really using it to its optimal potential let's say. So if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, you can do that. There's a link below, or you can go to my website and click on the newsletter tab. It'll take you to a little place where you can fill out a form and you're going to be getting the newsletter at every Tuesday at noon Eastern time is when it typically will go out. Um, also I am going to, I, I wanted to ask you what you guys think. Um, I want to start notifying you of new video releases via the, uh, the the newsletter notification system. So if I just go in there and say a new new video has uh, been uploaded, you might want to take a look at it if you're interested, and then put a link to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. In the email. Then you can just directly go through to it. I know I've had a lot of people say, I don't see or I don't notice when you've uh, done a new video. I don't get notified. And there are ways that you can fix that. You can actually go in your subscription manager and you can choose to get an email anytime somebody that you want to know about has uploaded a new video and it'll take you directly to that video. Um, I know I've done a video on how to do that before in the past. So if you are interested in the newsletter, then go ahead and subscribe to that. Um, you can also look at archived versions of my newsletter on my website under the newsletter tab. The newest newsletter will always be available a week later. So the people who have subscribed, thank you so much. I love hearing from you. I get all kinds of notes from people when I've written something. You know, the newsletter is kind of a place for me to be, you know, to just write what I'm feeling. And sometimes I write about cooking and sometimes I write about home arts and sometimes I write about philosophical things and that's just the way it is. I'm trying to be more specific as far as, um, you know, doing a budget and doing recipes and um, freezer banking. That's a big goal of mine this year is to share freezer banking ideas with you. And so I wrote about that and I wrote about pizza. I have an idea. I want to show you how to make your own homemade frozen pizzas. And that, that requires making uh, a, a semi-cooked 
frozen, you know, dough that you freeze and you would top it and then freeze it. And then you'll have ready to go homemade frozen pizzas that aren't full of things that you might not want to be eating. And there is nothing wrong with convenience food. If you can make it yourself, that's even better. The only thing I don't do, and I know that you can do it, I think my friend Bev has done it, is where you can make your own homemade uh, fries. Like uh, they're half-cooked oven fries, and then you can just freeze them and then pop them out whenever you want to use them. I don't make fries that often, to be quite honest with you. Sometimes... If I buy a 10 pound bag of potatoes, I end up throwing half of them away because I don't use them that often. Um, we eat a lot of rice. We eat potatoes occasionally. We eat a lot of pasta, stuff like that as far as a starch for the side of, of a meal. But potatoes, I, I eat them sometimes, but they go bad mostly before I can use them. I know that's sad. So I don't really buy them very often. Um... So I have a taco pizza coming, and I made a special cornmeal dough. That's a cornmeal yeast dough that I made for that taco pizza, and that pizza was really good. So look for that. That's going to be two separate videos. We have coming this week an amazing coffee-infused pot roast that I did in the pressure cooker, and it came out so delicious. I can't wait to share that one with you. And the meal that we're going to have tonight is a honey garlic glazed chicken that I can't wait to make it. it it's just going to be amazing. So that, and I wanted to say thank you to everybody who purchased the altered composition notebooks that I made and put on my Etsy store. Um, Thank you so much for your purchase. Everyone who purchased one, they've gone out in the mail, and I am busy making more. I had one in particular that had mason jars on the front, um, but they discontinued that paper. So I've kind of figured a workaround, and I will be having more of those mason jar books along with some others. I'll notify you guys via my Facebook page when I get more of those books uploaded. I'm also working on a few other things for my Etsy shop, and I will let you guys know what those are all about. You'll see it. Please follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, on Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, Instagram and Facebook especially. Those two I'm on all the time. Twitter, I go out of my way to post. Whenever I do a video, I post them. And then uh, I'll post occasionally. I'll post to different people over there on Twitter. But I don't tweet as much as I Instagram and Facebook. And I always try and get back to you guys if you ask me a question. Um, also comments. You guys left, you, you've left fantastic comments. I wanted to address a little something that I've noticed with regard to the homemade ready garlic. I did a video not too long ago about chopping your own garlic and keeping it in a comp, in a solution that's citric acid and water. I've had a few people who contacted me and said, my garlic turned green or bluish green, and is it a problem? Can I still use it? Well, let me tell you something. The first time that I did this, my garlic remained pristine white and beautiful, and I didn't have that problem. The demo that I did for you guys on video, a few days later, I went back, and my garlic, sure enough, was greenish, bluish, and very scary looking. So a little research on my part and I have found there's no problem. This is just something that happens when the garlic, when it's cut like that, has been exposed to uh, oxygen and additionally the garlic may have been old. Now I will say the first time that I made it I used Christopher Ranch organic garlic that was peeled and it comes in little packets inside of a larger bag. Now that garlic was beautiful and remained pristine and white and delicious. The other garlic which was the Spice World garlic that I got at Walmart that was considerably less expensive and came in like an eight ounce bag of peeled cloves and that is the garlic that turned bluish greenish icky. I won't buy that garlic again. If I do it again, I will use the Christopher Ranch brand garlic that I buy at my other grocery store. So that is something for you to keep in mind. Um, 
I don't know if the garlic was just older and once it was exposed to the air, it turned that green color. This is a chemical reaction that happens to certain bulb um, plants in the Ellium family because garlic is, a, is in the Ellium family like onions um, and shallots. There's a chemical, I believe it's oxycylic acid, that once it is exposed to air, but then we put it in the water with the citric acid, which caused another chemical reaction, making the garlic turn that bluish green color. I understand there is no problem using it. I threw mine away. So you do what you like, but it's perfectly safe to consume. I did do my research. You can do further research online and you'll find out the same thing that I did. So that's that uh, about the garlic. So you do what you want with it. It won't hurt you to eat it. Once you're going to fry it up in some oil anyway, it's all going to be fine. So what else? I talked about the Etsy store. I talked about the garlic. Um, the monthly favorites video. Thank you guys for your response to my question. The last time we did a chat and channel update and I asked you what you thought about doing a monthly favorites. I'm going to continue to do that because I had a lot of fun doing it. And many of you responded saying that you really enjoyed watching it as well. And always know that on Saturdays videos are going to be a product share and review or a website share and review of some sort. And I've been getting a lot of, well, not a lot, but some feedback from people telling me I'm a sellout and that I'm on a slippery slope because I am doing a lot of sponsored videos. I'm not doing that many sponsored videos. In many cases, I do have companies that contact me and ask me if I would be willing to review a product. And sometimes I solicit those myself. Um, look folks, I gotta pay the bills and that's just the simple truth. I always title my videos appropriately, so when you see product share and review, if you choose not to watch it, that is okay by me. I have no problem with that. But they're going to be there every Saturday. That's my deal. I'm going to do it. And um, I do my recipes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Monday through Friday. It just depends what I'm feeling, what we're in the run-up to. Like this week was Valentine's Day, so I did actually do a few more videos than Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And that's that. So um, let me know if there's anything that you guys would like to see. I'm always open to those suggestions. And know if I don't get back to you, it's not personal. And if you ask a question in the comments section of any video and I don't immediately answer you, it may be because the question was answered in another comment. I do understand now that some people who may be on tablets cannot see those comments. Sometimes they can't see the information box either. So I apologize if I got snippy with you um, for not reading those, but I didn't realize that not all of you could see them at any given moment. So um, that is what it is. Uh, I always try and get back with you guys, but if I have answered a question several times the same way, sometimes I won't always answer every single person who's asked me the same thing. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that really kind of stands out about this past week. There really isn't. So look this week for the taco pizza, the taco pizza crust, that coffee infused, um, pot roast and this honey garlic chicken that I'm going to make, uh, is they're going to be fantastic. And they're also really easy and that they're going to be lighter things that you can choose to do and really good, um, simple food. That's what we like, simple food. So um, I'm working on several things. Uh, this coming week, we have Ash Wednesday coming, and so that's the beginning of Lent. And if you guys, if you are one of those people that observes Lent, I am going to be trying to do at least one fish recipe a week so that you can get some new and different ideas of what to do with fish for your Fish Friday. Um, also because we've got Ash Wednesday coming and Mardi Gras, of course, Monday, Tuesday, Fat Tuesday is on Tuesday. I'm going to try and do something fun for that, um, for in observance of Mardi Gras, just cause it's fun, you know? So I have, I have a couple ideas that I'm batting around for that. And I think that you're going to like them. So that really is all I have. Um, 
I did just really want to stress, please come and join us. If you are on social media, be sure to come and join us on um, Facebook, especially, and Instagram. I'm always throwing stuff up on Instagram. And anything I put on Instagram automatically posts to Facebook. So you'll see that. And on Facebook, I'm at What's For Dinner. If you type in Noreen's Kitchen or What's For Dinner in Facebook, you'll find me. Otherwise, the link is down below in the information box. All of my social media links are down there. I am on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, and Pinterest. All of them. So, um, hit the button, join me. If you're just coming for the first time, hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. And if you're ever looking for something that you want to know if I've done, please go to my channel page and hit the little magnifying glass, type in what you're looking for, and if I've done it, it will populate in a list below your search, and you'll be able to see. I have over 1,300 videos now, which is like a mind-blowingly ridiculous number, but we just keep doing it. We've been here for almost seven years. Yes, almost seven years. Is that amazing? Um, we have over 1,300 videos, and we're just really happy to be here, and we're growing every single day. Also, for those of you who may not have seen it, the Noreen's Crafty Corner channel has gotten up and running, and if you'd like, the link is down below. You can go and subscribe. I have two videos up there right now. I did a Scrappy Strip Valentine, and I also did a uh, envelope card Valentine, which, you know, you just do that application for any occasion. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day, but... Every Thursday we upload a new video, and I'm going to start doing craft store hauls when I do a haul. I'll, I'll take the time to do a video, so it might be more than one video a week once we really get the ball rolling over there. And then you can go. I also have a Facebook page for, for, that, um, for that channel, too. All of our channels have a dedicated Facebook page and a dedicated Google Plus page, so keep that in mind. And I only have the one Instagram, the one Twitter uh, and the one Pinterest. So everything for those is kind of glommed into one. Uh, and that's just the way I'm going to keep it because I don't like bouncing back and forth for certain things like that. While the sun is just back and forth, it's making weird light. Um, it's cold here and we're expecting some ice and snow and I'm very excited about that. It's probably the only that we're going to see the rest of the year. I know that in some parts of the country you guys may be snowed in and you may be having some horrific conditions, but chin up, spring is on the way and that means Garden Channel is going to be working, you know, closely to we're going to start doing I'm going to do some gardening book um, things. I'm going to do some layout things for the garden and all of that stuff. So just know those things are coming. Every day we work on something a little different around here. And I'm constantly churning out ideas and making notes of things. So if you have things you want to see, please make sure you let me know. I always take your advice. I always take your suggestions and, and write them down on the list so that I don't forget. And that way, if I feel like I can incorporate that into the channel somewhere, I will. So, hope you enjoyed the chat. I sure did. I hope that gets you up to date. I think it does for me. So, um, have a great week. And until next time, I'll see ya.